Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am in the Blast Off mod pack available on the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, this map pack is done by Karma Charger. And last episode we did a huge update, um, a lot of things changed, and I went about a week before I played this one again, I think. I think it's been about a week since I played, maybe less. And there's yet another update, so I logged in, updated the pack, had a few problems with crashes, and finally got it all worked out, nothing corrupted, which was nice. But um, some of the quests have changed, I haven't really noticed anything else. I did notice that my any eye lag or whatever I was experiencing last episode where I would have that stuttery frames. After I came out of like an inventory, that's gone now, so that is nice. Um, but in the quest book, there are a few things that have changed, and they are in here. Let me just go inside, because I've been having a problem with mobs escaping from my mob farm. So, there's a few new quests in here. I noticed this one here. I can't do this one right now. I need a crucible. Um, for Mari culture before I can make one of these so and that takes a lot of hammering and grinding in order to get that but it's off of the gelid or gelid iron so you also need gelid iron for er, the gelid iron or the gelid gold whatever I made a while back um, there's a new quest down here for RF tools so I have to find all my steam tools that I made I haven't been able to track them down. Um, this one here is just telling you how to stay warm. It wants 16 wood and you get a bucket of lava in your choice of one of these three things. So I'm going to manually submit that and I'm going to pick mycelium because I can probably get mushrooms to grow on mycelium. So, and I don't know if I how hard it is to get mycelium in this pack. Um, this one here just wants you to turn in 16 rotten flesh and 16 gunpowder. And I'm pretty sure this adds the turret golems. Yeah, so that is pretty cool. Might have to check out some of that, but we will claim that. And I really don't know which one I should pick. Gold block, four lapis. Obsidian's really easy for me to get now, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, these two are about equal. Let's go with the lapis. I know I should probably go with the gold block, but I'm going to go with the four lapis. Oh, that's a repeatable quest anyway, so if I need gold, I know where I can get gold now. Um... What else? This is just that repeatable quest to get the my fit and some mead or sake. Um, I'm just going to claim it again because if I die, I lose my my fit. So it's good to have a couple extras hanging around. Um, is it nighttime yet? No, it is not. Um, so now if we go back to polluted seas, I did one in here, I did this one, because I wanted to get the pump, but then I decided to go with the requester, so I went and built my own pump, and I already filled that hole in. But I was digging underneath the base because I wanted to see if there was any ore in the ground. Because the last time I was exploring, uh, exploring, I found like a little cavern or ravine type thing that had ores in it. So I wanted to see if I just dug randomly down into the ground if I could find ores. And instead, come on, hurry up, get down here. I found a big sheet of obsidian with lava underneath it. So I made myself a pump. Um, you can't craft iron pickaxes, which this re recipe requires. So I got one from, I think, my mob spawner or exploring. I found one and I used it. 
to build the pump and now I pretty much have infinite lava so that is cool uh, apparently I have step assist again that's weird uh, let's get back up here and yeah other than that it's just clay and gravel and gravel is only useful if you got a sieve so um, so that is that section. Under the Steve's farming, this had all blacked out on me and I had to redo this quest. So I picked it up and it gave me a cart modifier. I already claimed it because I wanted to see what was going on because I knew I had known I had already done all that stuff and I was worried that I was going to have to redo it all. But I just picked it up, put it in my inventory and it re-registered that I did it. And I put the cart modifier on the side of that. Um, so that was that. And then I finished off this one. You had to make a hardened drill and a bunch of other Steve's cart stuff. So cart modifier, generic engine, or solar. I'm going to go with that one just because I don't plan on putting it outside anyways. And then I was looking at some of these ones. You can use Steve, Steve's cart to go get you lava, but I don't think I'm going to go that route, so... Oh, really? I just made one of those. Um, But I will still craft it and get the quest done for it at least. And then there's this one, which is to upgrade your... Uh, security system 2.0 or whatever you want to call it and you got to make an enchanter and a reinforced hull which is very expensive and yeah um that's one of my biggest problems with this pack is every machine in this pack pretty much takes that gall gall what is it called again this stuff here gall Gurdjian metal, whatever you want to call that. Um, and this stuff is really hard to make. Like, it's not a cheap recipe. Um, so you need to make a lump of it. And it requires magic wood and ender infused, some reinforced metal, some osmium, some aluminum or alumite ingot. A block of brass and yeah that's just sorry about that guys um just a little cut there but anyways as i was saying is this recipe is like super ridiculous for what it is and it's changed like with every update that i've done it seems like and if we take a look at just a random let's look at the machine casing or chassis for ender io they want four of them, four ingots of it, just to make one of these. And then this requires the metal chunk of it. And I was looking, I was looking through here, and yeah, um, this, the ingots. I don't even know how to craft them. Because there's no recipe for a large lump of this stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So what I'm thinking is I might take a break from this pack. Just because of that one fact. And I've been having troubles getting episodes out on time. I gotta go sleep. Before we get too many bad mobs spawning. So, I don't plan on quitting this series, but I am going to back off of doing so many episodes of this series. I do have another mod pack that can, or that I'm thinking I might be able to put in its place. Just temporary, and I'll still try and do episodes on this. Just like I said, it won't be as often. So, I kind of want to see what happens with some more of the updates, see if anything changes. I've been kind of browsing the FTB forums on this pack, and I don't know. I can't really find anything that's going to say it's got a huge change coming up yet. So, 
Um, but in the meantime, we will finish this episode, and what I was planning, well, I got some stuff in my inventory that I was planning. Oh my god. I've got a really bad leak in my mob spawner, so it, like, really scares me to come outside right now. Um, but, if we come over here, since I've got a mob spawner, I have got most of the stuff needed to make that winter ruin that I haven't made yet, so we'll make that quickly. Oops. Just make sure I've got all the right stuff. No, that's spring. I need winter. Where's winter? Winter. Um, the two ruins. Snow, that looks right. Okay. So, let us throw this stuff on here. And then we will grab our wand of the forest. And I will right click it. And while it's doing its mana thing, we will grab a piece of living rock. And we will throw it on there. Grab our wand of the forest. It's almost done already. And boom. So, that should be another quest down. But yeah, I did make one piece of this. It is very hard to make. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't see it being worth it for how little resources you get in this pack. I don't know. So, over here, we have completed that one. We get three more blo uh, blocks of mana. Uh, Man of Steel, sorry. And then, let's just quickly check... Hey, I already did that. Why do you not... I can repeat it already. Cool. Okay. Um, let's put that away. I will... I've played with this a little bit when I did... When I was looking into ME3. Um, uh, ME cubed or whatever it was called um that was before i had my youtube series though so i do know a little bit about the mod i just don't know a lot about the mod um let's get rid of some more junk over here let's see the other thing is all my resources are like scattered all over the place because i have no organization skills when it comes well i do but this pack just makes it harder and I've been all over the place doing all sorts of things, so. Oh yeah, I wanted to check this chest to see if those tools are in here. No, they are not. What did I do with those steam tools? Uh, this chest? There's a wrench in there. I lost all my steam tools. That is not cool. Okay, well, I will have to track them down, and we will take a look at that quest next time, I'm guessing, then. Um, yeah, because I have no idea where I stashed them. Honestly, don't know what I did with them. But anyways, let's move on. And what I want to do this episode is I want to get an automated tree farm set up. So I have a little spot somewhere around here that I've put a hole in the wall. Should have went. And let's just go up the ladder. That'll be easier. Where are all my farms? Nope. 
as you guys can see I took that AE meteor out and started filling in that hole the crater that it left behind so if that's over there my farm should be on the side yes I can see the slimy leaves over there so let us drop down this one and I put a little hole right here let's just take that one out so I can get back in and out and I'm gonna take this cargo manager and I am gonna drop it right here and then we are gonna take this advanced detector rail put it right there now the only thing is do I want it to loop or do I want it to go back and forth because if I would make it go back and forth I think I need to have Um, two cargo managers. How much space does that give? Like it's one, two. Maybe we should take this one out and put one there. And we will go here, here, and go out this way. might change this a little bit off camera just to accommodate a more efficient setup I just I haven't played with Steve's cart in a long time so I'm trying to remember how these work exactly why am I not moving oh I hope I have enough track no I do not Oh, I have just enough. Cool. Um, so now let's take this all out. Actually, maybe let's start at that first piece of dirt so nothing's growing too close to the castle. Or the wall, I should say. And I brought a stack of dirt with me. It's probably not enough because I can put dirt on both sides of this rail, which I do eventually plan on doing. I have more dirt in a chest inside the base. I just, I want to get this basically set up and get this episode out to you guys. And now, um, inside of one of my golden bags, not that one, this one, I have a cart that I made before this episode. It took about a half an hour to build in the cart assembler. And, yeah. I put an advanced smelter on it, that way it can make its own fuel. Um, and I'm just gonna tell it to keep come on about 32 on it and I think I can change this to put this back into the engine so um, hi coal engine woodcutter that's for repairing it well that's where my saplings go I think that's to repair it and side chest so let's go back in here we'll just 
plug that up just in case because it looked like it was getting dark outside. Ooh, that's a long ways over there, so I'm just going to put that there. Sleep quickly. We'll run. <clears throat> we'll run down. Grab some coal and some saplings. And I think we should be set to let that thing go. Saplings down here in this chest. We'll grab a stack of them. Might as well. And I will grab a stack of coal. Let's go back up. It was through this door. Oh, and I'm getting really hungry. I'm going to have to go eat here right away. And then we will put that in there and put a bunch oh no 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 come back here I hate it when it does that please don't hurt me please don't hurt me we will put those across there like so and it turned around and now it's planting saplings for me it'll plant them every second space it's not a big deal if I really want it to, I can come through and change all these pieces of dirt out every second one for um, hardened clay and put it on the opposite side. I think it'll plant it here if I tell it to. Just test that theory. Nope, nope, skipped it. Oh, and I hope it's not dumping all its stuff into here. No, nope. I gotta set that thing up too. Yeah, okay, so it plants it directly across from the other sapling. Not a big deal. Using oak wood, so it will grow in just about any condition anyways. And then to set this thing up, do I remember how to do this? Railer, storage slots, current. I want this to go from the cart to the cargo manager. From the cart to the cargo manager, same thing, same thing. Oh, but now it's dumping its coal. I don't want it to dump its coal. Um, let's back that one up, flip it around, and then let's do engine, flip that one back around. No, you still not going to work. And then I think you can... Disable these. Just disabled. Hmm. Yeah, it's been a really long time since I played with this, so. Ooh.
out of fuel because you dumped it all in the chest. I wasn't very smart now, was it? So, but yeah, that's Steve's carts. Um, I'll play around with it. I'll show you guys more next episode whenever I get around to doing another episode of this. Like I said, it's not really the end of this series. It's just I'm getting very frustrated with the amount of grindy work and how hard this pack is. I really do enjoy it, and I do want to go to the other planets and whatnot, but that um gal god oh, i was pronouncing it properly earlier now i can't pronounce it for some reason but this stuff it's the recipe for it is like way too hard like and the amount of it that's needed is just outrageous i think um let's do utility on it so there's your basic Steve's cart stuff, which is to be expected. And then, yeah, like, mechanism. It wants four of those for that machine. And every machine and mechanism needs at least four of them, so... That's a lot of magical wood. Magical wood doesn't grow on trees, so... I don't know, and even like basic capacitors require one piece of it, so I just, I don't. Oh, look at that, you can turn it into a mana steel ink. Please don't tell me that recipe got changed. Are you kidding me? You need one of those just to make a mana steel ingot now, like, well, that's mana infusion. Okay, guys, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave me a like. Maybe leave me a comment in the comments section telling me what you guys think of this recipe for this chunk of metal. And... Yeah, that's just... That's just wrong. Um, but yeah, leave me a like. Helps my channel out a lot. Leave me a comment. Consider subscribing if you guys aren't already su subscribed, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.